Hey everyone, it's Matt, and today is the third episode of Building the Chat App, and I wanted to give a little progress update, but also talk about the concepts and reasons why I'm building Wicked Chat. Um, and you can see in front of us, we're making loads of progress here, because we've now got a mobile app uh, done in React Native. Please don't unsubscribe, because I've said that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be learning React Native now, and we've made um, a phenomenal progress here because we've got all the functionality pretty much that we've done now in the web app duplicated in a native um, React native app. Um, and we've also got an Electron app. Um, so we've taken the web app and then we put it in Electron and we've now got this. So um, it still works, of course, in the web and works great in the web browser, but we've also got it in Electron too. So with that out of the way, why am I building Wicked Chat? Um, well, I'll be straight up honest. It was mostly an excuse to just build a chat app because I really was interested in this area and I wanted to build one for so long. So um, the main motivation was, in fact, learning and becoming a better software engineer. Um, so, but hear me out. I also use these chat apps quite a lot and I wanted to see if I could make things better. Um, so when I use things like Discord, I did encounter a few shortfalls of it and things maybe I could improve. And I'm going to talk about those now and share with you what I think we could do to make it better in Wicked Chat. Um, so if I go to Discord and I want to discover new content, there is a way to do it within Discord, but it's pretty bad. Um, you go to the Discover tab and you look for stuff you'll notice that the categories are very bare bones and within the categories are a list of communities. What I want to try and do with Wicked Chat is make it more a bit like Twitter and Reddit. So when you discover new things, you'll be able to click on gaming, for example, and then within gaming, you'll see interesting uh, comments and posts from people across all sorts of communities. There are interesting topics about gaming. And then you can either reply from there or you'll be able to go into the community. And I think that would be a big improvement because right now you can't really discover content within Discord. Um, and the next thing what I want to try and do is I want to have a home tab. So currently when you go to Discord, you are typically going directly into a community and then you're scanning across all the channels that you're interested in. And I think personally that's a very inefficient way of um, referring back to um, content that might be interesting for you. Because as you, gr as you grow to many communities and many channels, um, it's very hard for you to actually um, go back to those channels and then uh, and if you've missed a bunch of stuff, you'll, you'll likely um, not be able to see that content. So a home tab would be really good because what it could do for you is could go through all of your communities that you're part of and then it will find all the interesting things that you've not seen um, maybe because you were inactive for a while and then it will show you those comments and then you can either reply from there or you can go into the community um, and I think when you're a member of many communities it's almost essential to have this and I'm surprised that Reddit and uh, not Reddit Discord doesn't have it um, and I want to try and build that for uh, Wicked Chat and one of the things that I was thinking of doing to make this work really well is when you're in um, channels, uh, rather than it just being a feed of new messages, um, it could also kind of group messages together within uh, a topic. And we will kind of use some kind of machine learning or um, large language model to basically figure out the topic of conversation that people are talking about within this thread. Um, and that way, when you go to the home uh, page or even the um, discover content, it will be able to give you more context about why this message was interesting to show to you because you get a bit of thread or topic around it as well. Um, so I want to try and figure out how to do that. I've honestly got no idea how I'm going to build it. It's definitely going to involve a bunch of machine learning 
um, or uh, some large language model, but we'll, we'll encounter that too and try and figure it out. Um, the next thing, which I think will be easier to do, um, but I think it's a big win, is when you type stuff into Discord, it stays within Discord by default. It's not very easable, easily searchable outside of Discord. And if you're running a large Discord server, a very common thing to want to be able to do is to have some of these messages um, indexable by Google. So what we're going to try and do is make sure that Wicked Chat is built in a way that works great with Google and other search engines. So we're going to make sitemaps. I'm going to do a lot of SEO friendly work to make sure that the content within public communities is searchable by Google. And those are the kinds of areas I want to tackle as a main priority to build Wicked Chat as an interesting thing to use and, 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 and work on. Um, I've got some other things as well I'm looking at too because I also want it to be a great place for sharing pictures and videos. So we're looking at things for um, how do we make the, the pictures uploadable, um, shareable, um, maybe uh, kind of like a feed of like Instagram kind of thing. And we've also got videos too. Um, and it's also going to have a great experience on mobile. So there's a lot of areas here which I find fun to work on and interesting. And I think we could even do better than some of the alternatives. So that is the motivation for me working on Wicked Chat. I hope you've enjoyed that and I will do some more comment, uh, videos soon. Uh, feel free to comment and subscribe. Bye.